Hey, this keeping it real with your host, Justin Villarreal, and today we gotta talk about the Los Angeles Chargers and their quarterback situation because some breaking news came out about their quarterback situation earlier this morning, but I was in school so I couldn't cover it then, so I'm here to talk about it now. And so before we get into what happened or what we found out today earlier this morning, let's talk about the Chargers quarterback situation this offseason. They signed Tyrod Taylor and then they draft Justin Herbert in the draft, I believe 10th overall, 9th or 10th overall in the top 10, third quarterback taken. LA Chargers took Justin Herbert. We already knew all of this information. Week one, Tyrod starts against the Cincinnati Bengals, gets the win because the Bengals kicker pulls a Cody Parkey. Then week two, I was under the impression and everybody was under the impression, even the Kansas City Chiefs, the team the Chargers were playing, were all under the impression that Tyrod would be starting week two. And so I was more focused on one, I had family over, so I was hanging out with my family. But also, the Bears game. I'm a Bears fan, so I wasn't really paying attention to what was going on in L.A. And so what ended up happening was Tyrod did not start at the last second because he was injured. So the rookie, Justin Herbert, came in and started and played amazing, by the way. He played amazing. Shout out to Justin Herbert. And so what ended up happening was... It came out today that a Los Angeles Chargers team doctor injured Tyrod Taylor, punctured his lung. A team doctor punctured his lung while trying to give him a painkiller injection. And that is the in, that's what caused the injury that kept Tyrod out against the Chiefs. And that mean number one. That's terrible because that this could end Tyrod Taylor's career. He's he's always been known as a guy who's kind of the quarterback before a rookie takes over for teams. And it's very similar to how his time in Cleveland ended. When Tyrod Taylor was a part of the Cleveland Browns, he was the starter, gets injured. Baker Merrifield came in, took his job. Tyrod never started another game for the Browns after that. And we could see, I think we'll see the same thing here in L.A. Tyrod came in, got injured, rookie took his job, not going to start another game for the Chargers, in my opinion. And so, how like how did this happen? And we'll get into my thoughts on how this potentially happened. But it was either an accident, which the Chargers are claiming this was an accident. Or, and I'm not a huge conspiracy theory person, but I got a conspiracy theory here. The Chargers... I, this is going to sound messed up, and by the way, this is not confirmed, this is not true, this is just what I'm thinking could have happened. So, this is not factual, this is just pure speculation. I think the Chargers instructed the doctor to do that intentionally, and here's why. Because they have a rookie in Justin Herbert that they, they did before this game, we didn't know how good Justin Herbert was. We didn't know if he was good, whether he was terrible. He was really a wild card going into the draft. And will his skills from college at Oregon transfer over into the NFL? That was the big question for Justin Herbert. And so I think what happened was the Chargers, they wanted to give Justin Herbert a chance, a shot at starting, especially when they saw that the Bengals almost beat them in week one until the kicker ruined it for Cincinnati. And so I think that the Chargers, they didn't want to just pull Tyrod because if you pull a healthy quarterback and put the rookie in and he does poorly, you can't put the other, you can't put your original starter back in. That just kills his confidence, kills the locker room's confidence in the coaching staff. And it makes it look like the Chargers don't know what they're doing if they pulled Tyrod after a win, healthy Tyrod after a win to put in a rookie and then he played bad. Now, he didn't play bad. But I think that the reason why the Chargers may have potentially, this is not true, this is speculation, pure speculation, why I think that they might have told their doctor to intentionally injure Tyrod Taylor was because that way Herbert gets to start. If he's bad, it gives the Chargers the opportunity to go back to Tyrod once he's healthy. 
And then if he's good, like if like what happened where if Justin Herbert played good, then they could just say, oh, well, it's we're making the transition to Justin Herbert now. And so I think the Chargers potentially may have pure speculation here, potentially may have told their doctor to do that on purpose because it's a situation like Tyrod being hurt is a situation where the, it gives the Chargers a chance to start Justin Herbert, but also give him the opportunity to bench him for Tyrod Taylor if he played bad. Because if Tyrod was healthy and they benched Tyrod, you can't really go back to the guy that you benched healthy for a healthy rookie who played bad. But if, if the starter is injured, then you could say, oh, well, now that he's healthy again, he's our guy. Or, like, what's going to most likely happen, oh, well, the rookie played better, so we're going to stick with him. So, I think the Chargers kind of wanted to test out Justin Herbert, see how good he is, but they didn't want to rule out, they didn't want to take away the opportunity of bringing Tyrod back if Herbert did not play the way that he did play. And so, that's my thoughts on the situation, and I will see you all in the next episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more sports content.